Mike, Lightning Dragon here again, and today we're going to show you another chemistry kit from MEL Science. Which and one? And we are also in space. Yes, clearly we are in outer space. Um, what uh, what are we going to do today, bud? Tin. So what do we've got here? We've got. Tell us what this is. This is the tin experiment. It has at least four warnings. Yes, it's got many warnings. Um, this is the tin experiment from MEL Chemistry. It's also 12 plus. And uh, it's for people who are 12 plus. How old are you? Eight. Eight. He's eight. I'm 42. So together we're well over 12. This kit, um, like many of the kits, comes from MEL Science with um, everything you need to do this one experiment or the two, one or two experiments that are in the kit. So um, on the back here. It says, it sh shows days. the things that you need to prepare in advance and the things that you're gonna need from this chemistry kit and the things that you're gonna need from the starter kit. Now the starter kit is what they send you um, when you first subscribe to the box kit and it's a, a, a basic set of, of labware and supplies. Okay, little so cubby this, down is, there. this is the starter kit. So the items that we need are going to be uh, the plastic tray, Tray. So this nice plastic tray. We need liquid soap. Uh, no, this plastic tray, safety glasses, and the smart uh, smartphone clip-on macro lens. Okay, so that's this. So that's all we need from the starter kit. So we'll put the tray there. The smartphone clip-on macro lens comes with this little um, alligator clip. Yep. And then there's a macro and a wide angle. And I believe the wide angle is on it right now. I believe this is the macro. So this I is the macro and this is the wide angle. right there. So I will, whoa, it just comes right off. Put the macro on um, and then set this one aside. Okay, so it comes with instructions and a whole lot of chemicals. So it looks like inside the kit are these um, two, um, cards, informational cards, one for each experiment. So this is the tin hedgehog, which we'll do next. We'll start with what? The dendrite. Uh, the dendrite. You want to do the hedgehog or the dendrite? Hedgehog. Oh, you want to do the hedgehog. Okay. So we'll do the hedgehog first. We have the smartphone app. So we'll take the smartphone app and we'll start the experiment. We'll skip the video. Um, so it takes steak from the smart, the starter. So we got that stuff. Um, from the set, we need the bottle nozzle, which I think is this. We've got these little four bottle nozzles. So we'll take one of these. Um, I need my, my gloves. Oh, wait. There's gloves right here. Where did here. my safety glasses go? Oh, I need mine too. Yeah. Mine are on the, the dashboard of the Millennium Falcon right there. Yeah. We need um, protective gloves. Yep, so get the gloves out now. Gloves come in full size and kid size. Then the experiment, you just go through the items in the experiment. This is the title card. Here. Um, and the title card says, first prepare the tin chloride uh, SNCL solution. So, SNCL, hold on, put your gloves SNCL, on first. SNCL, SNCL, okay. So I think all of these, a bunch of these packets are the same. A bunch of these packets are the same. So we'll take one and set the rest aside for now, over there, and bring the tray in tray is very nice. It will easily hold all of the stuff and not spill it all over your counter. I'm back. He's back. All right. So, bottle nozzle. Bottle nozzle. And let's go to the next item, which is remove the cap from the tin chloride bottle and pour uh, one bottle of sodium hydrogen sulfate into the bottle of tin chloride. What so this is the this? sodium hydrogen sulfate, and this is the tin chloride. Absorbent. And then these are absorbent. What we want to do is pour the sodium hydrogen sulfate into there, okay? Okay. So, so we'll open up this. These are all child-proof caps. Not me-proof. Not eight-year-old proof. They are very nearly 40-year-old proof. There we go. Okay, so I believe that this cap is sealed. 
oh no, I think there's a stopper in it. So there's a, a couple of, you need a paper, a paper clip, and they actually give you a little paper clip in a little bag to pierce the, okay, uh, open that. oh, they are childproof. Are you a child? Are you a child? All right, so we'll go like that. But you pour this into there? Yes. Pour that into there? Uh, we're gonna pour the liquid into the solid. Okay, so there's a little a nubbin of something in there, and so we're gonna go ahead and poke it out. Um, it's out. Is it out? Okay, yeah. so go ahead and squeeze it into the bottle. I cannot see. Okay. The whole thing? Yeah. Okay. In. okay, now put the cap back on there, yeah. the cap back on there. Now it says to place this little dropper nozzle onto here. So go ahead and stick that little dropper nozzle into the, the lid. Yep, push it down. Now, now it says to use the red cap. Yeah. So get the red cap. Red cap. And go ahead and thread the, oops, why did that not work? Maybe it has to go way down on it. Insert tip securely. Looks like maybe it over the lip. There we go. Okay. It snaps on there. You're cross threading it. All right. Okay. So I'll shake it. I shake it. Yep. Up. Shake it. <laughs> For how long? Uh, it doesn't say. That's probably good enough. All right. So the next instruction. It says shake it to 20, 30 seconds, so we'll start the timer. Go ahead and shake it. Here, I'll shake it some. 21, 20. 17. So there's a little timer here on the, iPhone, on the iPhone app, and it tells you how long to shake it. You can also see that it's pretty well dissolved. Um, so this is the sodium hydrogen sulfate in the stannous chloride. All right, so mm -hmm. we're good to go. We're done. So uh, now we're going to take the, the, green. the test tube. No, no, no. The, the test tube. The test tube. Test tube. So that we're going to take the test tube, and um, it says to fill the test tube halfway with that solution. Okay. So be careful, carefully fill that halfway. Uh, a little bit more? Okay. All right, now let's be sure to cap this back up. Looks like we have enough to do this okay, at least one more. Oh, hold on. Let me put a little bit more in now that I can see the thing. Fill a little bit more. We're going to cap the test tube now? Uh, it does not say to cap the test tube now. Okay. Well, no, don't cap it because we're going to have to put something in there. Okay. So let's go to the next instruction, which is... Uh, another title slide. So now submerge a piece of more active, oh, of a more active metal, zinc, Zn, in the tin salt solution. Zinc. Um, as the result of a, sorry, as a result of a substitution reaction, some zinc will dissolve into the solution. Zinc. Um, while the tin will precipitate on the surface of the zinc pellet in the form of lovely needles. Now, do you know what the word precipitate means? Nope. So wait, hold on. So precipitate means that um, is when a solid forms from a liquid. So um, we have a liquid salt solution here. So zinc. the, the um, You have a little zinc. piece of zinc here. So the zinc, or the tin salt is dissolved in a liquid. Yeah, you just drop those all over the place. Um, so some of the some of the some of the um, tin in here is going to crystallize on the zinc. So <clears throat> now what it says to do now next is to be prepared to take a macro photo. So I'm going to see if this works with the phone. I'm sure that it will. So I'm going to go into the uh, camera mode and then. I'm going to clip this on. Oh, there we go. So yeah, so there it is. Let's go to 2x. So we're in 
we're going to zoom in. All right. So I will try and film this. Um, You're not on video. You're on square. Nothing's happening. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, you can see. Oh, yeah. See that there's um, some precipitate forming there. What is this for? Good soap. That's probably for the other experiment. So yeah, you can look, you can see the, um, you can see the stuff forming on it. Let's, um... Cap it? Cap the test tube? No, no. Do we need to cap the test tube? Yeah, it does say to cap the test tube. Okay. Alright, so I will leave that recording and then I will zoom in with the other camera. You know, I just read that. Did you? No. <laughs> I did not just read that and just push it down because that's how you open um, non kinetic. And I thought it might be how you open this. So the tin hedgehog is a very subtle thing. You definitely need the ability to zoom in on it a lot to see anything. Well then let's try this. That's pretty cool. So you can see the crystals forming on it. See that? Mm-hmm. Eruption. That's a dendrite. We'll find out. All right, so there we go. That's pretty cool. Yep. I'm going to keep this in my room and see if it grows. <laughs> So the tin dendrite was pretty cool. We saw it form in the vial here and it's still forming. And we got some cool up close uh, pictures with the camera. So the next thing we're gonna do is the tin dendrite kit and we're gonna clean all this up and get started on the dendrite kit. If you wanna watch that video, subscribe to the channel and uh, you'll be able to see that next. Thanks for watching this one. If you thought this was cool, be sure to check out our other MAL Science videos where you'll see the carbon snake Right? Red snake. And the foam, foam eruption. The foam eruption. And soon a tin dendrite. And soon a tin dendrite. Whatever a dendrite is. Thanks for joining us. And if you like this kit, you can get these from MEL Science. I believe that you get a kit every month, including in addition to the starter kit, which you get the first month. And it's a cool, fun science kit for kids. Did you, you like this? Is it fun? Yep. Are we going to do the next one now? Yep. Okay. More science. See you next time. Can I keep this in my room? Yep. Okay.